So my buddy Crismo 1944 has been steady at work on St. Marie du Mont, the famous location where the guys from Band of Brothers fought over the Brecourt gun battery. So we're going to take a look at that map coming to us from Crismo 1944 and his awesome modding talents. We have a couple little things from the other big mods like Chapter Blossom and the Mercury mod. We're going to check out what they've been up to. And there's also a mod that kind of sneaked under the table there called Targon or Targnon. It's a snow map that somebody made. And of course, we're still right in the middle of an all month Slobberknocker Steam Key giveaway. So if you haven't entered into that, be sure to stay tuned for details on exactly how to enter. Also, if you didn't already know, Snazzy Duckling did an interview over on Twitch with Yazoo, and they were talking about the upcoming overhaul to the armor system, and it's pretty exciting. Now, there's going to be some more information coming on that within the next week or so, so just hold tight, and I'll be sure to bring you all the information on that armor overhaul. All right, let's get into it. Now, recently, Chapter 4 was announced, and it is undoubtedly the Battle of the Bulge, which makes me kind of question why this young modder, whoever it may be, decided to do Targnon, which I'm almost certain that it's part of the Battle of the Bulge somewhere in France. Now, I may be wrong, but it's just strange with him knowing that this Battle of the Bulge is going to be covered, why he would do a Battle of the Bulge map. But nonetheless, here it is, Targnon. Now you can tell this uh, this modder is probably really new to map making, but nonetheless, he did a decent job. Now apparently, there's already like snow physics as far as like friction and uh, the, the snow interacting with vehicles. As you can see, this uh, motorcycle here gets a little squirrely on the back wheel. Now again, I'm not 100% certain about that, but it kind of looks like it. So that's awesome if that's already implemented in the game. And then you'll see, uh, you know, Know, these are just assets kind of plucked from other areas of the game. Uh, you'll see this building that is certainly from Carentan, unforgettably from Carentan, with the stairs going up the outside of the building. Unforgettable building. But yeah, um, if you know more about this battle or Targnon, I'm sure it's somewhere in France, let us know down in the comments. I'm no historian. I know a lot of you guys love correcting me down in the comments, so this is definitely one I'd love to hear about. Now, we're not even too sure who the author is. I know a Jerry Tactical Scout posted it in the Postscriptum official Discord. He posted this as a YouTube video. It only had like 23 views when I found it. So I'm not really sure exactly who the author is, but um, apparently this is a, a clan, two clans going at each other, testing the map out. But I don't know. I'm kind of glad I uh, ran across this because, you know, as uh, rudimentary and clearly made by a beginner it may be, nonetheless, it's still a pretty cool looking map. Now, I highly doubt it'll uh, fit in with the official Battle of the Bulge maps, but I digress. All right, whoever made this map, maybe you can comment down on the bottom. But who are you? But moving along, we're going to look into some of the bigger mods, uh, Mercury Mod and Chapter Blossom. Just a couple little tidbits before we bounce back over and check out Chrismo's awesome St. Marie du Mont. So the first map for the Mercury Mod over in Crete will be Malame. And we've seen this screenshot, but we've got another. Apparently the guys over in Mercury Mod were playtesting Malame. And as far as gameplay collision with the models and all the new buildings and assets they've added in. it sounds pretty promising and development is moving right along then they showed off these glider picks that's right this is where the Sturm regiment came in on these old rickety freaking uh, seems to be mostly wood gliders the model shown here with interior and red tail flash is our new glider spawn point or GSP. You will be able to use this identifying criteria to differentiate these glider spawn points from other crash static mesh gliders on the map. At game start, we hope that players will be able to spawn inside two or three of these gliders to experience the same entry into the combat theater as the Sturm Regiment did at Malame. These glider spawn points or GSPs will then function similar to MSPs but with a few caveats, where once destroyed by explosives, they will then only be able to be called in again by the Fallschirmjäger commander, and once landed will be unable to be repositioned, so pick your landing zones wisely. 
Now everybody's back hard at work after the long holidays and over at Chapter Blossom or the Pacific Front we finally have a marine uniform model and boy is it a beaut. Of course next will come the textures and we will get our first look at United States Marine in action within Postscript. A pretty exciting stuff. Now you may even see this model shared amongst other modding communities as from what I've read they're kind of all in cahoots some more than others but they're all relatively talked amongst themselves. Ah, uh, yes, the Easy Company attacking the gun battery at Brecourt Manor. Probably one of the most memorable scenes in Band of Brothers. And this whole map being brought to life by the good guy, Crismo1944. This is just exciting stuff for me. I'm really surprised that it wasn't covered by the official mappers within Postscriptum. But nonetheless, thank you, Mr. Crismo. Here we go. We get to experience the assault on Bree Court. Of course, we'll be parachuting in from one way, and then there's a layer in the morning where the 101st Airborne unit comes in as reinforcements. And you'll see here in a bit that there's even a third layer that once those uh, big guns are cleared from Bree Court, that the boys on the beach start moving in, and we get to play as the 4th Infantry coming from the beach in almost like a pincer fashion. You got the paratroopers coming in from inland, and the 4th Infantry coming in from the beach. All acted out among three different layers. Pretty cool stuff. What a kick ass, Chris Mo. And as you can see, this entire map is built and based on historical accuracy. This is exactly where the MG was set up to cover the advance on Brecourt. And then, of course, the Brecourt gun battery itself that was firing on Utah Beach. The boys in Easy Company had to get this strategic capture zone taken care of and the guns on it destroyed so that our boys could make it up the beach. Here you see a picture of the exact location in real life. And as you can see, here it is mimicked within the game. Oh boy, I'm getting excited. And then like I said, layer three will be D-Day afternoon. And that is when the boys in the 4th Infantry start moving in off the beach. Thanks to the boys in Easy clearing the way for them. All right, we got a little window while Crismo's driving through the countryside to give away a freaking Steam key. That's right, Postfire Gamer, come on down. You gotta claim the key. I'm not gonna come track you down. So if he doesn't claim it, we're just gonna re-roll it the next week. Here's Crismo and his trusty Jeep heading into town to check out some of the historic places and historic buildings that will live forever in memory. And here we are, St. Marie de Mont. There's the famous church in the center of the town. This is where that famous picture was taken. And the boys at Easy getting a refreshment at the water pump. Another famous picture. And here's the famous entrance or archway that leads to the famous chateau at St. Marie de Mont. And believe it or not, our super awesome map maker Crismo stood in this very spot. Right outside of the church. Pretty awesome stuff. 
Chris Moe's the one on the left. Alright guys, that about does it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Chris Moe's Twitch. He, over on Twitch, he does map making live. So if you're looking into getting the map making and modding, he's a great place to go, you know, check out and maybe learn a thing or two. All right, guys, we're storming towards 2,000 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to join our little community because that's all it takes to really enter the giveaways, too. We're giving away a Steam key once a week. And to enter, all you got to do is be somewhat a part of our community. Join the Discord. It's linked below. Like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course, and drop a comment. But within your comment, leave your Discord name and number because that's how I make sure the right person gets the prize. If you're new to Postscriptum, be sure to check out my Postscriptum Guides playlist. And most importantly, y'all be good to each other.